So what we're going to do today um, is I've got the calendar function pretty much working on the clock, uh, but I think I've got a problem with the uh, barrel spring. So these barrel spring, there's a theoretical length uh, that will properly fit in a barrel. And I noticed before when I was winding this, very difficult to wind. So I'm going to take this spring out, um, check the length, uh, make sure it fits the right formula, uh, then either fix it or reinstall it. So we'll take you through uh, how to remove a barrel spring um, and then how to put it back in. Uh, I don't like doing it, so we're going to have to be careful. Uh, I showed you before an install, so this one will primarily be looking at how do we remove this and then also how do we make sure that this spring is the right length for this uh, barrel diameter. So we'll Okay, so I've got this mounted in this spring winder and the trick is um, you're, we're going to want to wind this up and then this collar will get slipped in over it and then we'll let it loose. Oh, so what's tough is this is a very uh, strong spring so I've got to hold on to this thing and really grip it. Uh, the place where the spring attached you want to have that facing up at you because when you're gripping this thing you can't be looking in there to see where it is. I'm going to have to just take this and when it can fit slip in. You can see this has got some sl slop. But that spring is all on the outside. We've got to wind it, get it to the inside. So let's let's try it and let's hope it goes well. And you notice the other thing is you got to wear protective equipment because if this spring lets loose, you want to make sure that your face is protected, your hands are protected uh, because it's unpredictable and it can explode. Let's go. My face out of the way. We can always make parts again, you can't get fingers back. Alright, so here's the numbers. Um, the formula, the way it works, uh, half the available area, and that's the area inside of this barrel, equals 0.854, that's just a constant, times d squared plus d squared over 2. And d being the id, the big d is the id of this, and d is the uh, od of the arbor. So I've got a 2.5 inch uh, diameter here. My arbor is 0.625 diameter uh, wide. So we put that together, run numbers, I get 2.61 inches square is the half available area. Then what you do is you take to find the length of spring that you should have inside this uh, barrel and arbor combination equals half the available area, which was our 2.61 divided by the thickness of the spring. This is a 22 thousandths thick spring, equals 118 inches. And I measured the one I've got in there, it's 110, so we're fine. This thing is okay, it is just a, the, an 022 spring is a very uh, uh, thick spring. And he mentions that in the design. Uh, so if I look at what uh, Brown said, this was a spring that was used on John Wilding's uh, Chris crystal wheel clock, uh, which uses a very powerful spring. So he chose that one. Um, my 
ID on this is a little bit bigger than what he did in his original, so I've actually got room for this spring uh, where he had to uh, reduce that spring a little bit. So things look good. Uh, it's a little bit of work, but while I've got this out, last time I put the spring in, I've got some nicks on here, and we'll take a, off this brain retainer, clean this up. It'll be easier to do it without that uh, spring in there. So I'll get this thing cleaned up, put that spring back in. Okay, so I've got the uh, spring back in. Uh, I'm glad I did it, because I got, uh, before I don't think I oiled it properly, so I've got a good oiling on it. Um, clean this up. This will polish up nicely now. Got the uh, the marks I had off it. So I'll put this uh, put this back together, and then I'll start mounting the train. And hopefully next video, I'll have this uh, clock running uh, with the uh, calendar works attached. And then what's left after that is the dial hands and a lot of polishing and a case. So let's keep working. Thanks and hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please subscribe and would love any comments uh, that you might have.